FirstCoast.tv. We find ourselves here with Joseph Mark. Uh, he's a member of the Film Society and other has many hats. But today we are having two movies. This is like pre-film festival. It's attached to the film festival that starts uh, tomorrow Friday. But this is a little sample of what's coming our way uh, today, Thursday. And uh, Joe, what could you tell us about these two films we're going to see tonight? Well, um, the. St. Augustine Film Society is a 501c3, and we have an initiative called the Golden Way Project, Films That Make a Difference. So we're partnered with the St. Augustine Film Festival for this pre-festival event. We have two films on human trafficking, which many people think is just, oh, that happens to somebody else thousands of miles away, when that is not the case at all. Uh, Worldwide, it involves millions of people and billions of dollars, but even in Northeast Florida, it's become an in increasing problem. Uh, both uh, agricultural trafficking for uh, farm laborers and child trafficking and prostitution, et cetera. It's got a whole host of problems associated with it, um, including uh, drug use and so on and so forth. Okay. It's, just a, it's really a problem. We're showing two films. The first is Look Beneath the Surface, which was produced by the Department of Health and Human Resources. And it's pretty much an instructional uh, public service announcement of what to look for and how you can help. And then the second film called Chosen is produced by a group called Shared Hope International. And that film really brings it home. It's uh, the story of two separate young women who were lured into being trafficked. Very middle class, very average, good home, good family, good schools, cheerleaders, uh, marching band, the whole host of, of all the right choices, uh, college prep courses in high school, et cetera, and wound up um, one almost being trafficked and the other one actually was from the time she was 13. Wow. And about how long are these films? Uh, the one look beneath the surface is about 13 minutes. The other one's about 20 minutes. So the two films will run about 30 to 35 minutes. And then we have a panel of experts from law enforcement uh, to service providers. We have somebody from the uh, state attorney's office. I have uh, several members of the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office coming down, somebody from Betty Griffin House, wow. and uh, someone who's done extensive training of fire, EMT, and police departments throughout mostly the East Coast, Washington area, and Florida, training those types of first responders what to look for, because frequently they're responding to a domestic violence dispute or some, or, or some other issue uh, that could trigger a human trafficking uh, investigation. Where could people see these films if they can't make it tonight? Well, the uh, Look Beneath the Surface is on YouTube, and Chosen, you've actually got to find a screening. Okay. They have a trailer, they have a two-minute trailer that gives you an overall uh, feel for what's, what the movie um, subject matter is. But to see the film itself, I don't think you can find it online or any place. You actually have to look for somebody that's doing a screening. If this is a successful event, maybe the Golden Way will do this a second time. So the, the goal of these films is to make people aware that this problem is right here with us. That's correct. And it's not far, far away. That, is, that is correct. Oh. And hopefully it's a call to action. Um, there's, I have uh, lots of different brochures out in the lobby for people to take away with them for contact numbers, uh, what to look for if they suspect something. I have a takeaway sheet of uh, 15 different social media apps that can be a problem. Um, so if parents see their child online a lot, especially with some of these apps, be aware. Mm -hmm. it tells them what the dangers are in those particular apps. All right which is important. Okay. I thank you. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Jorge. Appreciate You're... you for covering this event. <laughs> As always, I love your events. They're always very, um, oh, I don't know. They're three-dimensional for me. They have lots of depth in many different ways. And I thank you You're for making welcome. these available to the community. Welcome. Thank you.